So recording banjo can be a pretty tricky thing. Um, one thing I'm mainly looking for is trying to get a round tone and avoid as much pick noise as possible. There's a bunch of different applications that you know banjo music can have. It's, it's such a versatile instrument and as far as its sonic sound. A few things about using ribbon mics as well, especially when miking, like when Stuart had his uh, backside banjo mic, um, one real important thing to think about is how these microphones in relationship to each other phase-wise. So on this back microphone, I had the phase flip because it's, it's receiving the backside information as this one's receiving the front side information. Another thing you might have noticed in the video is using the baffle. I was getting quite a bit of room back there in that back mic a little more than I wanted to. So by putting that baffle on the back side of that figure eight pattern, knocked quite a bit of the room out and made it listen much more to the banjo rather than the back room. I love using the Royer because it, it always adds a fat, round, bottom, rich tone. Uh, mainly what I'm adjusting is whether I'm gonna use a second ribbon mic to get a stereo spectrum, or uh, if I'm going to use, you know, like a Peluso M49. Uh, that really seems to help get some energy that you're looking for in that in that fast 16th note uh, bluegrass. <laughs> 